The day after Christmas, many of us might feel like curling up on the couch with a plate of leftovers and watching TV. But that's not the case for some local older adults who couldn't wait to burn off their holiday calories. For them, fitness is a lifestyle, and they say it's never too late to get started. Our Mary Stackhouse has more on these impressive seniors and the 72-year-old trainer who's inspiring them to keep moving all year long. It's the morning after Christmas, and folks in this class aren't wasting any time getting back into the gym. The gym was closed on Christmas Day. Otherwise, I probably would have come in there before dinner. Straight up there. Gail Lind is the instructor, teaching this class of older adults at Anytime Fitness in Hampton Cove. They're in their 60s, 70s, even 80s. Gail, who is 72, transformed her life seven years ago through fitness and weight training, losing about 50 pounds. Now a trainer, her passion is contagious. You have to go back. You know, it's just that much further back. This summer, Women's World Magazine called and Gail became a cover girl. It's been surreal. I've had so much fun doing it, but what's really been exciting is that it has actually influenced others. Her goal is to inspire others to get moving and build muscle, which she says is crucial for older adults. The more muscle you have, the safer you are and the more enjoyable things are to do in the outside world. Sybil Vodich says she's been weight training for years. I got into it because I have actually a bad right knee, and the weight training has helped me build the muscle around my knee, so I've been able to not have to have surgery, etc. Matt Godsey has had injuries and surgeries this year, but it hasn't stopped him from coming to Gail's class. In my case, I've been injured. She can find that exercise that allows me to work out without causing injury. So that's what I need. Gail knows firsthand that getting started when you haven't been active in a while is tough, but she says the results are worth it. It's uncomfortable the first time you head into a gym. It's uncomfortable, but it's more uncomfortable not doing anything. Putting the Valley first, Mary Stackhouse, WZDX News. Now, Gail says older adults should aim to work out consistently, as in more than three days a week. To watch more of Gail's personal transformation journey, just find this story on rocketcitynow.com.